and you honestly believe that they would be better off out of this country? I don't believe dishonestly. Does this mean that, that in pure terms you are content to be described as, as, as a racist, a racialist? Well, it's a term of abuse, and the politician gets used to terms of abuse being flung at him. One looks back at a lot of the press comment, and they say that all Enoch Powell's uh, rallies, there were thugs there, that there were racist thugs, members of the National Front. Is that, is that your recollection? Of I it? can't control who will come to a public meeting. But d didn't it concern you to see uh, those sort of people giving you support? I could show you lots of documentation of the National Front and all the others saying that Enoch Powell's the only person who's got it right. But I, they can't were help, I can't help people agreeing with me, nor do I pick those who will agree with me. But d don't you think... I'm not responsible for a person who goes around saying, I agree with Enoch Powell. Could they not simply become integrated as part of uh, British society, uh, black Britons like white Britons, uh, uh, that with their colour not being significant? They could, but the larger the number, the less the likelihood and the greater the difficulty of such a development. So it wouldn't be a question of them being like Scots or Welsh or any other group? The Scots and the Welsh and whatever other groups you have in mind came into existence in a very different way. And, and if there were similar numbers of Germans, we would have a problem, a different problem, but still a problem. I mean, we do have more Scots, it has to be put to you, and we don't seem to have a problem with them. They've identified themselves with us. They have the same monarch. Well, so do, so do the Black Britons of this country. Well, I'm not discussing the citizenship law of this country. That applies to everyone. Well, let's go back to 1968, when you talked about rivers foaming with blood and... and I didn't. You did, uh, with, with reference to uh, the Aeneid, you did, to, with reference to the prophet. You didn't talk about rivers of blood, but you no. said you felt like... The ancient uh, Roman. Exactly. Now, you use those phrases. You're I thought that violence was a likely outcome. Oh, the outcome of your speech? No, not the outcome of my speech, but the outcome of a situation which was building up in this country and has continued to build up since then. Do you regret having made it? It's one of the ups and downs of political life. And in fact, it was a bonus to me, as it turned out, because it freed me of the incubus of considering the effect upon one's future career of espousing or not espousing a line in politics.